South Korean President Moon Jae-in uh, struck a conciliatory tone towards Japan today. It said he hoped the two economies would be able to put the past behind them and work towards mending worsening ties. President Moon was speaking at a ceremony to mark the country's 74th anniversary of Japan's surrender in World War II. It also ended Japan's colonial rule over Korea. And our senior Korea correspondent, Lim Yon Suk, tells us more. Dressed in traditional Korean costume, President Moon Jae did not say any harsh words or issue warnings to Tokyo. Instead, he urged Japan to play a leading role with South Korea for peace and prosperity in East Asia. He asked Japan to stop using trade as a weapon against South Korea. 어느 나라든 자국이 우위에 있는 부분을 무기화한다면 평화로운 자유무역 질서가 깨질 수밖에 없습니다. 먼저 성장한 나라가 뒤따라 성장하는 나라의 사다리를 걷어차서는 안 됩니다. The remarks were preceded by a week of anti-Japanese rallies across the country. On Wednesday, on Namsa Mountain near the Seoul Tower, victims of Japan's wartime atrocities, like the comfort women, attended a ceremony to unveil a new memorial statue. There are about 22 comfort women like her still alive. Historians say as many as 200,000 women, mostly from Korea but also other parts of Asia, were forced to work in Japanese military brothels during World War II. Also on Wednesday, a weekly rally was held outside the Japanese embassy. The first such rally took place in January 1992, and this week the turnout was huge, with more than 1,000 people attending as they marked the second anniversary of Comfort Women Memorial Day. Other victims are also the people who were forced to work in Japan for no pay. 89-year-old Kim Jong-ju told reporters how she went to Japan thinking she would receive an education, but instead ended up working long hours for 10 months in Japan without receiving any compensation. The protest rallies are expected to continue as emotions are still running high here following the trade spat between the two countries. But that could change if Japan, as President Moon says, is willing to hold dialogue and join hands with South Korea. It remains to see how Japan will react next. Im Yeon-suk, CNA, Seoul.